Scott Brown here. In today's exciting episode, we talk about five different tools that the old me from two years ago didn't even know he needed. I've been using them for the last couple of years and they're fantastic. I know I said the next episode will be about this wall, but uh, the paint is still doing the ceiling and I want the big reveal at the end of the episode, so. I mean, that's it. It's a plywood wall. All right, let's get on with it. All right, five tools that I didn't know I needed. Number one is the reason I made this video, and that is the razor saw. I got this from my mate Gaston. Oh, <laughs> here we go again. When I got it, I have to admit, I thought, I'm probably not gonna use it, I just like the look of it. But uh, I use it all the time. You can finish your skirting corners off, and it's been amazing, this thing. It's made by Gear Kucho, and they make those Japanese saws that we use, and the blades are replaceable. Kinda just looks like your regular Stanley knife. I wonder if you could put these blades in a Stanley knife. You probably can. No, it's not working. I suppose if you've got the right width knife, you could probably do it. And because it's so small, you can just keep it in your tool belt, and you have a mini handsaw at all times. So that's number one. All right, so here is the floating shelf. Look at that. How about that, eh? TV sitting on there. I'm just gonna cut this little ripping now with the uh, razor saw. Just well. Wow. It's like an ad, eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's not an ad. I just really like these tools and have um, improved your life. Yeah, it's improved my life, so it might improve yours. The next thing on the five tools that I didn't know I needed a couple of years ago is this CA glue here. This happens to be Finnish Carpentry TV's glue. Great channel if you haven't checked it out. This stuff is instant glue, basically, and we're gonna use it to glue this fillet on the inside of this floating shelf to add a bit more glue contact and a bit more strength on the join. Now a lot of you guys in the UK and Europe, probably America too, will be familiar with this glue. But I honestly went 10 years or something before I even saw it. It wasn't until I went to the UK and I saw builders using it to do their mitres. It's two part glue. Well it's one part, but this stuff speeds up the drying process. Uh, it's pretty instant, so I probably want to get that thing on pretty quick. Uh, we don't even need the accelerator, do we? Probably not. It's got huge advantages in terms of assembling joints, and we used it when we did the shelf to assemble the miters. So we had a lot of PVA glue in there to do most of the work, and we used the CA glue to hold it in place for the 10 seconds that it needs to dry. Okay, right, gotta, so be, gotta be quick around here, eh? Gotta be quick around here, partner. Pouring down. Alright, so that little strip is probably dry now. We're going to cut a hatch in the top of this floating shelf. And that'll be for the sky decoder that's going to drop in and not be visible. But anyway, that's all later. We'll put that in the proper video for the floating shelf. Right now, the third tool that I didn't know I needed. Tool number three! <laughs> we tried to do a throw thing, but it just didn't work. I'll make it a blooper at the end. This is it here, the Air Wedge. 140 kilograms, I'll put the pounds here. Uh, lifter thingy. The way I use this is when I'm hanging a door, and you know, the door needs to be about 10 to 20 mil off the ground, I slide this underneath, pump it up. If the uh, door hinges aren't quite lining up, I need to go up more, pump it up a little more. And if it's too far, you just press, press this button and put some pressure on it, and it lets some air out. It's an adjustable air wedge, basically. And it is very, very handy. It's also good if you're doing windows and you want to tweak the window to the right or the left and get it plumb. You slide that in the gap, and you push it to one side, and if you need it to come back, you just go like that. You can get multiple air wedges and put it in all the corners. It's a very handy thing to have. So that is tool number three that uh, I didn't know I needed but now I use all the time. Check 
Okay, so here is the bench. Okumi plywood, and uh, it's 12 mil thick. And we've mitered it on the corners here. And here we have the architectural drawings for the hatch. I just realized that glue isn't really a tool, is it? You kind of use it like a tool though, it holds things for you, so. I'm calling it a tool for the purpose of this video. Tool number four. The right angle drill bit. So here's your drill. And there's the spinning bit. And this is very good for areas where you can't reach, you can't quite get the drill in there because maybe it, that part hits. All you have to do is slide this part in. This can slip into much smaller gaps that the drill cannot quite fit into. And we've used it in a lot of videos and almost every time we use it, someone asks. So now you know, the right angle drill bit. I'll put a link below. A lot of companies make them now. They're available at most hardware stores. I highly suggest you get one. So this hatch goes right here. But uh, we want the TV to cover the lines, so you only see it when you look down the side if you really want to look. Let's plan that out. Alright, hatch all marked out. We put masking tape on top of the plywood and did our pencil marks on top of that masking tape so we don't have pencil marks everywhere. And uh, we're going to use the track saw with a very thin blade. This blade you can't even see it. This blade here, it's a Makita iffy cut blade, and that leaves like a two mil gap. But this is the crucial part: is the uh, not going too far with the tracks around the corners because we want this hatch to stay there and be have the grain running with the rest of the shelf. Uh, I haven't done. The fifth and final tool. It's good that you're here, Cameron. Good timing. Cameron gave me this measuring tape. Um, it's not the only measuring tape that does what this measuring tape does, but it is one of them. And what it can do is get your measurement by doing this. Oh my god. So if you didn't see that, let's um, zoom right in. So rather than just going like that and bending it and going, oh, what's that? You can go like this. And that's because they have they have a separate measurement system right here in the middle that shows what the measurement would be from the end of the tape to the back of the tape. So since Cameron here gave me this tape, I've used it quite a lot. It was really good when we were measuring inside that scullery and we could just measure wall to wall and make sure that the cabinets would fit in the space. And the other good thing is made for lefty or righty. Uh, so yeah, that's um, five tools that a couple of years ago I didn't know I needed and now I use all the time. See you, bro. Thanks for the measuring tape. You're welcome. God damn it. Bro, got the glue? Uh, it should be through there. Bro, but it's not bro. Oh, here it is here. No, no wonder. Shit. Typical. We'll let that dry, the little supports. And now it's lunchtime. Less is more. The less you carry, the more you know. Well, that's what's good about those tools that we talked about in today's exciting episode, I feel. They're just small hand tools and they're pretty cheap. Yeah. And so you, I, know, I like you just chuck them in your tool belt and yep. they help you get the job done. This one's coming up, bro. You can buy all of them for me. We'll get stuff. <laughs> we'll get stuff. <laughs> Alright, so we just got to put this shelf in properly and then uh, I'll do a proper video of the whole shelf all being put together and then the TV finally going on top of it. Finale. Be very cool. The Rugby World Cup's coming up and we're going to try and at least watch one game here on that TV on our floating shelf. That's our goal. Oh my god, what hatch, Pado, what hatch? 
Oh, my van's total mess. I'm in much need for an admin day. <sighs> but we did it. Floating shelf in. I look forward to doing a full video on that. But it's good that it's in. Whew. Man, this is a lot. Tool number three! Okay, I'll try and do it with one hand. Tool number three! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Tool number three! <laughs> <laughs> Tool number three. One, two, three. Yeah. Ready? Tool number three! You go back. <laughs> <laughs> we tried to do a throw thing, but it just didn't work.